Hello everybody and welcome. We are sitting with two big male lions who I'll tell you about in just a moment. Now my name is Taylor McCurdy and on camera with me on this fine sunny day is Craig. Now we're so happy to have you all here and a big welcome to the three schools that have joined us this afternoon and how exciting what you've seen with Jamie. Those elephants, those are my favorite animals. But we've got some big, big cats here. So you probably know them as the king of the jungle, don't you? Let's have another look at them. Now, these two big lions are two or four male lions that live and roam around in this area that we are lucky enough to drive around in every single day. And they go by the name of the Birminghams. Now, the one that's laying upside down with his back to the ground and his nose pointing towards the sky, that is Mfumo. And the other one, his brother, is a male lion called Tinyo. How cool is that? Now, Tinyo, you can see he's got lots and lots of scars on his face. He's very, very battled and bruised, which is quite typical of male lions. And if you look very carefully, oh, we won't actually be able to see it now because he's laying on the wrong side of his face. But if he does sit up, if we're lucky enough to have these boys sit up or even come and have a drink of water, we'll really be able to see how big they are. But you can see where Tinyo will get his name from. Tinyo means tooth. And he had an injury on his lip and cut away quite a bit of the flesh. So sometimes you can see his canine, which is those big sharp teeth. You can see them sometimes. And that's why he gets the name Tinyo. But he's a lovely boy. And it's so typical for them to have lots of scars like this. They fight a lot. Hello, Anthony. Anthony, you wondering if this is very dangerous out here? No, not at all. Especially when we're in the cars. We have driven around and interacted with these lions and the elephants and the impala and all the different animals out here in the vehicles. So they are quite used to us now. But not us as people. They still have a, they're still quite scared of us. So when they see people, most of the time they will run away. But for us, we're very lucky. I am sitting maybe 25 yards, maybe not even that much, maybe less than that. And that's how close I am to these lions. Look at that. Hey, it's amazing. And they don't care. They're just fast asleep. But nothing really bothers, a, especially a big male lion when he's having his afternoon siesta. They sleep for many, many hours a day. So they probably moved around early this morning when it was cooler and now decided to have a nap while it is very, very hot. Alexa, you've asked if the lions are friendly. I don't know. Craig, would you go up and pat one of those lions? <laughs> Craig says they seem relaxed. They do seem relaxed when you look at them like this, don't they? And you would think, why can't I walk up over to those lions and give them a scratch behind their ears? But you mustn't, because these are wild lions. So like I said, they, they don't know people. They've never interacted with people, so they've never been touched. They were born in the wild. They hunt for themselves. They have to do everything on their own. So if you are lucky enough to come on a safari in Africa one day, you must remember that all the animals out here are completely wild so you have to stay in the cars you have to stay seated you can't clap your hands or click your fingers or make whistling sounds to try and get their attention you just have to sit quietly and observe so you just have to watch them that's all we are here to do is to watch these animals and learn from them so it's nice like I like to do is I like to take a notebook out with me and I've been doing so for the last five years and any interesting behavior that these animals may do I write it down so you can really you can learn from these cats and well the elephants too the elephants are the best for animal behavior but it's hard to sometimes sit and watch lions sleep like this you might think that it can be a little bit boring but it's all worth it because if you sit here and you be patient you never know what could come around the corner. You can have some warthogs coming to have a drink here, a buffalo, and they would, and they would, well, they'd love to eat one of those animals. So yeah, so even though they're sleeping here, they've actually still got one eye open and one, and both ears listening about. Now, Monica, hello to you. You were wondering how many lions are in this area on safari. 
it's difficult to say. So we are on a property called the Sabi San Vilte. So basically it's a big wilderness area, but we're open up to a very famous area called the, the Kruger National Park. So essentially these animals have got eight and a half million acres of land to roam around on. So in eight and a half million acres of land, I'm not sure how many lions there would be exactly, but on the private game reserve that we're on at the moment on, in the Sabi Sands, I would say that there's about maybe 30 different prides or so, and that's including the, so let's say, coalitions and prides. So boys form coalitions, so they join up, whereas females form prides. And the females stay together for life, and they have all the little cubs, but the males, the coalitions, they come and go, so they don't stay with the females forever. And these boys have just come into this area. They've been here for almost almost two years now, if I'm not mistaken. I think Louise is the lion expert. She loves the Birmingham boys, and she was lucky enough to be here when I, they first came in. But I think it's about two, almost two years now. They are doing very, very well, but they are still young. Or 18 months. Louise says 18 months. So, yeah, I'm not too far off, so still a little bit of way to go. Hey, look at that. Let's see if he's going to do a big stretch for us. Oh, look at those big paws. Now those front paws are massive. They are bigger than the size of my hand. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll find some old lion tracks in some mud. And then I can show you how big their paw prints really are. Because just by looking at them like this, it really doesn't do much justice to how big these boys are. So to give you an example, they're still growing. They're still relatively young. Now, Jordan, oh, you've, good on you, Jordan. You've actually just asked a question that I was about to answer. Jordan, you've asked how old are these male lions? Ooh, so they were all, they must be just over six years old now. So they're coming into the prime of their life. They've still got a little bit of growing to do. Their manes are starting, it's starting to darken now. It's getting nice and big. When I first saw them, they were little, quite scruffy looking lions. But like young teenage boys, it takes a bit of time to grow. And so are they. They're trying to grow their beards now, which is their manes that will protect their throat and all the rest of their vital organs. And you can see it actually goes all the way down, and you can see on this line on the right-hand side all the, the fluff coming off of his elbow as well, which is quite nice. See that? Look at that. You've got hairy elbows. <laughs> now, <clears throat> they were quite heavy, as I was trying to explain to you how big they are. So to give you an example, these male lines probably weigh, I would say, anywhere between four, maybe about 450 pounds. So that's quite big, hey? That's bigger than your cat that you have at home. So when they walk past the cars, oh my goodness, it's the most incredible thing you have ever experienced. If you have never been lucky enough to experience a lion walking past you, you've got to put it on your bucket list because it is the biggest adrenaline rush out there. Now, not only just being in the car with them, but sometimes we're lucky enough when we are tracking like Brent's doing, walking around on foot, and you come across these amazing cats while you're walking. Can you imagine how exciting that must be? I get so excited just thinking about it. But we try not to always approach the, the big game on foot. Normally, we try and when we're walking, we're looking at smaller things. And then, as you've seen in the cars, you can get very, very close to the animals. Jaden, you've asked if our lions are fa as fast as cars. Not quite. Almost, but not quite just that. I have to do a conversion very quickly on my calculator. Let me do this before I tell you, because I don't know what it is in miles. So let's go... Nope, that's the wrong amount. <laughs> I'll tell you now, Jaden, to put a comma. Here we go. So lions are quite quick, but they can't keep their speed up for very long. It's normally a very, very short distance. So they can reach speeds of almost 70 kilometers an hour. So that's almost like, I'd say, about 110 miles per hour, give or take a little bit. But that's sort of how, how fast they can run. But a char the charging speed, now this is amazing. This is the thing that amazes me the most about lions. So if this lion was angry and it got up and it wanted to chase maybe another lion away or maybe it had seen a buffalo and it was about to chase the buffalo, their charging speed is 22 meters per second. So that is almost, I think it's about 26 yards per second if I'm not mistaken, give or take a little bit. My conversions are not very good. but. 
it's very, very fast. So can you imagine before you'd even be able to blink your eyes and open them again, those lions would be standing right next to you going, hello, <laughs> which can be a little bit intimidating. But I'll tell you a little secret, but you can't tell anyone is that these big cats are actually big sissies. Can you believe that? Male lions, they make me laugh because they often get into trouble from the female lions in the pride. And like I said, it's the girls that live in the groups together. And when, they have, when one girl lion and one boy lion have a fight, the rest of the females in that pride, well, they tag along and then they'll chase off the boys if they're giving them a hard time, which is really, really funny to watch.